Life is full of choices. Whether it's where to go, what to eat, or how to just have fun and relax. So join us as we discover all about loving life. I hope you enjoy this episode of Loving Life. We've got a great show. We always have fun putting it together. We always have fun talking to people, going places, eating food. So don't change your channel. Stay right where you're at. And we're going to be loving life. Just when you thought there was no hope, there is hope. I have not been able to lay down flat on my back in a year without pain. On a scale of one to 10, between a seven and an eight. Find out yourself with a consultation and a free test. Now it's your time. Call me at 790-1332. It feels completely different. That's amazing. Call 790-1332 to reserve your seat. You know, I'm always, Dr. Timmy's always looking out for you. And so I'm always looking for things that you can do to maintain your health and live longer and live a more prosperous, healthy life. So I have hooked up with a company called Metagenics. Now, if you've been around any time at all, you've heard of Metagenics. And I'm with Ryan Clark and Dr. Veronica Gasco from Metagenics. Thank you for being with me today. Oh, thank Good morning. You. Listen. Probably one of the biggest things I hear is, Doc, what can I do for weight loss? I mean, they can be walking in in a wheelchair or whatever, but they want to know about weight loss. <laughs> and so when I heard about Metagenics, I heard about this new program that you guys have. It's the Ultra Meal. Yes. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, we, Ultra Meal actually is a medical food. That means it actually has FDA approval is because of the constituents and the quality of every ingredient that's in there. It is a shake that we have, and we also have it in bars. We have different levels of it, depending on what a person's need is, if they want to just have maintenance and maintain where they are, if they have cardiovascular issues, or on top of it, if they're pre-diabetic, diabetic, metabolic syndrome, then we have an advanced formula that we use for those individuals. Really? So yes. it actually helps those conditions or what does it do with them? It will help it, but we actually can reverse it. You're so, kidding me. No, actually in a study that we did, we've had uh, studies done around the country mm -hmm. in four different universities and they showed that metabolic syndrome was not just reduced, but resolved by 45% of the people involved in the study. That's huge. In every study that we've done so far, four different studies around the country. Now, Ryan, because you deal directly, you're with Metagenics. Yes. What have you seen as far as, I, I don't want to say use the word testimonials, but <laughs> have you seen people amazing, change? Yes, amazing testimonials. Um, it's, it's typically based on a 12-week time period with uh, lifestyle and diet change and the use of these products, which speed it up. Um, not saying diet, uh, diet and lifestyle is not good the way it is, but you're looking at a 12-month somewhat turnaround time versus a 12 week turnaround time by using the medical food, whether it be the shakes or the bars um, as well. So you're talking 12 weeks, is, and then is that all somebody eats and drinks? No, no you, you have your diet and lifestyle change. Okay. And these come with dietary booklets giving recommendations, but it's, it's, not, it's not so much like a, a flat out diet, um, such as things that you would see. Um, it's, it's basically more education to the patient when they go to restaurants, when they go to grocery stores, you know, what foods to steer away from, what foods to steer towards. It's basically uh, based off a modified Mediterranean diet. Okay. We looked at that diet, just reason being, uh, countries that have that diet typically have very, very low health problems, if, if any. Okay. Um, so we basically modified it to fit these medical foods and, and to fit a patient's average lifestyle. Wow. Now, when, when you talk about shakes 
I'm going to I'm going to play the devil's advocate here a little bit because we all see the emails. We all get the things from the calls from family. I'm into this right. new shake thing that you know you'll lose weight. Oh, yeah. What's the difference? It's the quality of the ingredients that are in there and the clinical research that stands behind it. So you can get all different qualities of different vitamins. You can get a vitamin D and you can get a vitamin D3, D2. It depends on the constituents that they put in. And we've got a full complement of micro macronutrients. So the vitamins work not just with the vitamins themselves, but the macronutrients, meaning the foods that are in there. Okay. So we call ultra meal, meaning the ultimate meal. So it's really a complete meal of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, very well balanced. So it not only helps the body to lose weight, that's really almost a side effect of the fact that we're healing chronic health conditions. Mm. So it's part of an overall program that we call first line therapy. And this is lifestyle and dietary changes that people will do. And we talk about the 12 week initial period, but really it's a two year follow up, which then expands into your entire lifespan. Sure. It, diabetes, uh, heart disease, those are they're huge problems that we're dealing with in Absolutely. this country. It's called, it's called the road to diabetes is the way I look at it. Yeah. You first start with mild obesity or a little weight gain, then you become obese, which leads to cardiovascular issues, which the next step up is prediabetes, then type two diabetes, um, or type one, depending on where they're at. So that's what I call the road to diabetes. So depending on where the patient is along this road, we kind of have a answer for it, so to speak. You gotta find the exit and get off that road. Yeah, that's that's right. one bad road to be on. <laughs> that's so, a long highway to go down, for sure. Let's talk about, like, for, for example, let's take one day, breakfast. What would you eat? Perfect for breakfast. Go ahead, though, V. Yeah. Sorry. That's what, this is what I had for breakfast this morning. Okay. Um, I was up early, so I had a shake as soon as I got up. Recommendation is always to eat and consume calories within 30 to 60 minutes of waking up. And that way you're preparing your body for the day. Otherwise, your body will go into a mechanism that we call gluconeogenesis. Big $10 word. I'm yeah. impressed. <laughs> and it means that your body will actually start to have lower energy throughout the day, especially that 3, 3.30 lonely afternoon. Your body will catabolize, meaning eat its own muscle as an energy source because mm. it needs energy. And it'll have a tendency to try and maintain its fat all day long. And then the next thing we need to do is make sure that once you have that first meal, you want to make sure that it is a protein carb blend. A lot of people, their first impulse in the morning is have a cup of coffee. Right. They depress their appetite. Now they don't feel like eating. A couple hours later, they'll have a bagel. They're going to have a simple carbohydrate. So the first food that you put in your mouth, you'll create enzymes that'll set you up for the entire day. And the timing is really important. So once you have that first really good meal, and this is so simple, it only takes two minutes. Mm -hmm. now to I, prepare. Yeah. You just you can put it in a blender. You can put it in a shaker cup. You can blend things with it. We have all sorts of recipes to make it taste amazing. Now, I've been eating this every day for 18 years. And you would think you'd be really tired of it. But they're nice, basic flavors, and I can change it up. I'm not tired of it. And I drink it down every day. Yeah. It's a long <laughs> yeah. time. It's a long time. That is a real But it's helped time. me to maintain my health. It really has. It, it's made such a big difference. And it saves me a lot of money on trying to go out and buy all these organic ingredients. Yeah. It would cost me so much money. So this makes it so much easier. Then once you do that, then you want to eat every three hours throughout the day. So we have a whole menu plan. We don't call it a diet. You know, first three letters, die. Who wants to die? Who wants to die? <laughs> yeah. So we call it a menu plan. And we'll follow that. And we'll actually set that up for people so they know how to eat all day long. So most people in the afternoon, that 3.30 lull that we spoke of, that's when we usually recommend another shake. And they'll have another one at that point. It'll stimulate their body, bring up their energy level. They can keep going for the rest of the day. And then we have them eat food in between. Good, healthy, whole foods. Okay, hold on. But to touch up on that real quick, breakfast. Um, there's also so much research on people skipping breakfast, just like what Veronica said. And not only is that not good for the body, it increases weight gain. Absolutely. Weight gain typically comes from lots of areas, but two major are stress and cortisol levels. Um, the more stressed a person is, the more weight they're gonna, or, or fat they're gonna um, keep. And the, the more unbalanced their cortisol levels are, um, same thing. So it's your body, just like what Veronica said, your body needs correct micro, macronutrients, proteins, and sugars, especially first thing in the morning. Um, and, that, and it's a perfect, easy, literally under a minute, uh, you can have a bar or make a shake, 
on your way to work or five minutes before walking out of the house yeah. versus having to make breakfast or stop somewhere and get it or it's our know, lifestyle. things like that's yeah. that, that's that's America yeah bigger faster stronger go 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 so you know <laughs> this is a quick solution listen I think we got an answer here for you those of you who've been searching so I don't want you to go anywhere we're gonna be right back and we're gonna talk more about this thing that you have to know is this. There are people, there are circumstances all around you that are constantly trying to push in on you. I call those pressure points. And when that happens, it, their whole goal and their whole idea and the whole idea of those circumstances is to push you down and to make you feel small. You literally feel like you're in a small box. Here's a little key. I call it shoving your pressure points out. I love doing it at the beach, but you can do it anywhere. If you'll do this, right where you're at, envision a box all around you. And all those four corners of the box have these little balls. They're little balls. There's one right here, there's one right here, there's one behind you, there's one over here. There are also four, one down by your feet on either side. Now, here's what you wanna do. You wanna push that box out, and for you, Making the choice to do it is step number one. Step number two is taking those little, those little balls of pressure and push them out ever so gently and ever so far. You might only get them here the first time, but then I want you to keep working on it. I want you to just envision that pressure point going up further, further. It may be you see it around your house first and you're pushing that pressure point up that far. And then you'll go to your neighborhood and in your mind's eye, you're pushing that pressure point above your neighborhood. Push this one out, push that one out. You're gonna push that one out that way. You're gonna push that one out that way. And then in your mind's eye, picture those down below you. You're pushing that one out and you're pushing this one down even further. Then you're gonna to go to your state or your city first. You're gonna push it in your mind's eye. See that pressure point going above your city and then see it going above your state. And then you'll get to the point where you can actually have enough to push it above the United States. You'll see it above Arizona and you'll see it above Washington. You'll see it above Florida and up towards Maine in that area. Push those pressure points out. And then eventually you'll get to the point where you can push that pressure point above the earth. You can envision in your mind's eye the earth and your pressure point, you're pushing it above the earth all the way, all the way around the earth. And then eventually you'll see it going up to Jupiter and Mars and push those pressure points out. That's why I love to come to the beach because if you look here on the beach, you'll see there's absolutely just clear horizon there. Sometimes I just sit here and I push my pressure points out. If somebody's trying to push them in, push them out. Push it out that way. Push it out and envision the earth going around and you're gonna push that pressure point down there. And what you'll feel inside of you, all of a sudden you feel this almost a release where you feel, well, they don't have the right to do that. I'm gonna push out my pressure points even more. Here's what I want you to do right now where you are. I don't care if, it's in your, if you're in your living room, if you're in your bedroom, whatever situation that you're dealing with right now, I want you to just envision that in your mind. Now I want you to take that pressure point and start pushing it out. Push out this one. Push out that one. Just close your eyes if you have to and start pushing those pressure points out. And you're going to feel yourself begin to release. And, and pretty soon the people who've been trying to push in on you, they're not going to be able to push that in anymore. And guess what? Pretty soon they start, uh, well, they're not even going to bother with you anymore because it's not worth it. Take the time to make the choice right now. Remember, it's all about choices. Choose to push those pressure points out. Choose not to take the box anymore, but you're gonna push it out, you're gonna take control, you're gonna make the choices, and you're gonna take control of your life. Stay tuned, we'll be right back.
been in a car wreck. Perhaps just now you realize you're hurting in places you never hurt before. Muscle aches, stiffness in joints. Can't find an MD who'll take you because you've been in a car accident? Look no further. Dr. Wes Johnson is familiar with car accident injuries and is able to help you. First Choice Family Healthcare will even accept a third-party lien and wait to be paid. Your car is being repaired, so should you. Call First Choice right now at 954-0050 to get back on the road to recovery. Life. It's not as easy as it used to be. There's stress at every turn. And when you think that your bed would be a safe haven, you can't sleep. When you can't sleep, it leads to other problems in the body. Dr. Tim Weir, author of You're Not Crazy, an overcomer's guide to fibromyalgia, has put together a formula just for you. He's combined magnesium, vitamin D, potassium, and some other minerals that help you relax. Then he went one step further. He added MSM for joint health and stability. Now, those are all good, but what's more important is how do you get them into the body? Pills oftentimes don't dissolve. How about a great lemon raspberry flavored drink? This is a powder that you add water to, and it begins to absorb immediately in the mouth, and you start feeling the changes sooner. Go online to www.relaxformula.com. That's www.relaxformula.com. Just when you thought there was no hope, there is hope. I have not been able to lay down flat on my back in a year without pain. On a scale of one to 10, between a seven and an eight. Find out yourself with a consultation and a free test. Now it's your time. Call me at 790-1332. It feels completely different. That's amazing. Call 790-1332 to reserve your seat. Welcome back. I, I think this is so important, so vital for you to get this information because guess what? We're killing ourselves. We've got to make some changes. Uh, Wes Brown, I'm actually writing a new book with Wes Brown, had this to say. I think he actually stole it from uh, uh, somebody else, but he, he said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting different results. So if you're doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting to lose weight or your diabetes to go away, and it's not working, you've got to change, and this is what you can change into. I'm with Dr. Veronica Gasco and Dr. Uh, Dr. Ryan Clark. Sure. Yeah. Honorary. <laughs> Ryan Clark. <laughs> Honorary title. <laughs> Honorary. But I'll take it. <laughs> From uh, Metagenics. And we're talking about this stuff here called Ultra Meal. Now, Ultra Meal 360 is for people with metabolic syndrome, is that right? Metabolic syndrome, it addresses any chronic illness, especially things that have to do with inflammatory conditions or blood sugar issues that we want to regulate. Like diabetes? Exactly. Okay. Diabetes, prediabetes, people that have a higher level of insulin resistance. But in reality, anyone that's having trouble with weight loss, it works extremely well. Okay. Because we're, there's certain ingredients that are in there, they're gonna help the body to fast track weight loss. And the insulin resistance that they're having where the cell is not getting insulin and glucose into the cell and utilized and storing it as fat, it reverses that mechanism on a permanent basis. We actually compared it to several different medications like metformin. Mm -hmm. And we saw that we had very comparable results. The one difference being is we have a lack of side effects with this, where metformin has very serious side effects. And a lot of people are used to their family and people they know dealing with that and, and having to experience those side effects. So and, and this test was actually done by who? It was written up. That was a, that was a, basically what we did is Metagenics ran the test themselves first. We have a okay. functional medicine research center in, at uh, Gig Harbor, Washington. They see about between 3,000 to 3,500 patients a year out there, no cost to wow. the patient and uh, three proteomics labs. So we do the clinical trials in-house first to make sure it works. And then we send it to a university. That one may have been Florida, I can't remember. But we send it to a university to have a third party unbiased you know, sure. opinion on it too. And both trials meet up, we agree, product goes out in production. So it's not just us saying it works. Yeah, absolutely. We do the homework first, but then we have a second you know, unbiased opinion too to kind of back it up. You know, I, I think kind of an interesting concept is if you, if you can picture a factory and we're trying to put together products 
and there's a little guy inside this storage area that says, I need more protein or I need more whatever, <laughs> and we keep yeah. giving him more carbohydrates or, or something he doesn't need to, to use in the factory. Right. And, and so in order to, to get what he needs, he has to keep asking for more. Right. And if we keep giving the stuff he doesn't need, he's going to have a whole pile of stuff that he has to store away as fat. Exactly. Is that right? Exactly. Very true. The body is amongst, besides being a great design, it is a storage device. That's right. That's what it does. So the, the, more, the more you put in that doesn't get used, the more it's going to store and try to use later, which in turn turns to fat. Unfortunately, your body eats muscle before it eats fat. That's why you have people lose weight. You know, it's a question. What, what are they losing? Right, muscle or fat. A, a scale is only going to tell you what, you know, what, what you weigh. It doesn't tell you what your fat mass is, what your lean uh, muscle mass is, what your triglyceride levels are, cholesterol, blood pressure, on down the line. Um, that's why we do these clinical trials, to see exactly what happens. And in, in this trial, for instance, people had different, you know, on, on, on average within a, uh, seven week time period patients lost anywhere from 20 to 30 pounds but the interesting thing to me is that the weight that they lost out of, out of the 20 pounds was 15 to 16 pounds out of that was pure fat mm. and that thoroughly impressed me and they put on one to seven pounds of lean muscle while doing that and it was the worst case scenario the trial was on women I'm not saying this won't work on men it's just that women have a harder time losing weight exactly therefore we picked the harder scenario uh, they walked 20 minutes a day and changed their diet and lifestyle and used the product. So it was, I, I exercise often, and dropping weight's not hard. Dropping fat mass, once you get, you know, to 15, 20% body fat, trying to get down to 10 or 12 is like, a, you know, that's what blew my mind with this. I was like, how did they really drop, you know, 15, 16 pounds of lean, uh, or not lean body mass, but of, of fat mass? Of fat and put on one to seven pounds of muscle just walking. So imagine, and that's the worst case scenario. So imagine someone that's motivated, someone who, who definitely changes the diet and lifestyle, does the product recommendation, and actually goes and gets either a personal trainer or really gets serious with their exercising. Expect even better results. But what we did is we wanted to test worst case scenario first. You know, <clears throat> some doctors have patients that are ready to get it done. Some doctors have patients that are like, all right, what's the easiest way to do this? Right. We took the easiest way to do it, patients, because the ones that are ready to get done, we know we're going to get good results with. What's going to happen with worst case scenario? Well, and the fact is, people work. Yeah. And they get up early in the morning, <laughs> they go to work, and by the time they come home at night, you're so tired, you just want to sit down, eat or do whatever, yep. and then go to bed. Oh, yeah. And this is very easy to incorporate in our American lifestyle. Yes. Absolutely. Very easy. So the diet is important. The diet's very important. It gets, you, it gets your body eating every two to three hours, and I'm not talking about, you know, gigantic meals. I mean, right. <clears throat> small snacks or using the meal replacements. Um, we don't want to just go using powders and bars and stuff of that nature. Um, I'm not saying it would really hurt you if you did, but the point is, is to continue eating food while incorporating medical foods into the, into the diet to help speed up the process. The, the trial that the patients are, are viewing or have viewed, the, um, the, the top section that is dark green is a 12 week time period with diet lifestyle change, walking 20 minutes a day and using the medical food. The one right below it, which is the lighter green line, is a 12 month time period. So three months versus a year is a 12 month time period um, just changing the diet and lifestyle and walking. No medical food, no products. Wow. So we did that to show if you at least change your diet and lifestyle, you can get results. Yeah. If you do that plus use Ultra Meal 360, you'll almost triple that um, results in a, in a three month time period versus a 12 month time period. It's amazing. Really? Very cool. It's really huge. Even with my own patients, I've seen phenomenal results. I'd say about the average weight loss I see is 16 pounds over the 12-week period of time, and that's some people losing two, and that's some people losing 25 or 30. Right. So when I average it out, and I've been doing this for years and years with my patients, every patient I've had that's followed through with the program, their cholesterol has always gone down. Their blood pressure has always come down and come closer to normal. So I've always seen results. They are always gaining a little bit of muscle mass, and that's really significant. 
because you can even have a very thin person that can have very low muscle mass and still be overly fat as far as the ratios of fat to muscle, mm -hmm. which is called sarcopenic obesity. And that will decrease their lifespan eventually. So we're looking at really helping someone to expand their life and enjoy it while they're here. That's awesome. Life. It's not as easy as it used to be. There's stress at every turn. And when you think that your bed would be a safe haven, you can't sleep. When you can't sleep, it leads to other problems in the body. Dr. Tim Weir, author of You're Not Crazy, an overcomer's guide to fibromyalgia, has put together a formula just for you. He's combined magnesium, vitamin D, potassium, and some other minerals that help you relax. Then he went one step further. He added MSM for joint health and stability. Now, those are all good, but what's more important is how do you get them into the body? Pills oftentimes don't dissolve. How about a great lemon raspberry flavored drink? This is a powder that you add water to, and it begins to absorb immediately in the mouth, and you start feeling the changes sooner. Go online to www.relaxformula.com. That's www.relaxformula.com. Just when you thought there was no hope, there is hope. I have not been able to lay down flat on my back in a year without pain. On a scale of one to 10, between a seven and an eight. Find out yourself with a consultation and a free test. Now it's your time. Call me at 790-1332. It feels completely different. That's amazing. Call 790-1332 to reserve your seat. Hey, listen. It's all about making choices. That's what the whole show is about. So go to my website, drtimweir.com. I've got some more information about these products and how you can get a hold of them. It's incredible. It's going to help your health. Go to the website right now and order it.